Number four. It says x squared. 2x squared minus x plus 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 out of x into x, this is x, x squared minus minus x minus 6. Take a look at this. When you multiply the coefficient of this is 1 times the negative 6, you're going to have negative 6. Now, when you look at the products, the, the factors for negative 6, you have a negative 3 and a positive 2. When you sum them up, you get what? Negative 1. We are going to factorize. Factorize 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 out of x into x squared minus 3x then plus d2x minus 6 proceed this is equal to from here 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 out of x into brackets x squared so i'm going to, from here factorize of x well, the x, we have x minus 3. From here, claim out the 2, 2 into x minus 3. This is equal to 2x squared minus 9x out of x into whatsoever is left of this into brackets x minus 3 into x plus 2. Now, looking at this, we are going to get what? we are going to get the, the partial fractions. Now this is a linear equation. So now this one, what we are going to have for this one, is going to be 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 out of x into brackets x minus 3 into x plus 2. This, and now mark this, this is equivalent, equivalent to L out of x plus b out of x minus 3 then plus c sorry for this plus c out of x plus 2 we proceed this we are moving with this one so 2x squared now what I'm looking at getting the LCM divide gets there LCM divide, there's the LCM divide, get that. So 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 out of x into x minus 3 into x plus 2 is equivalent to, once again, mark that, is equivalent to LCM x, x minus 3, x plus 2. <coughs> This divide by that, the x goes remain with that, so we have a into x minus 3 into x plus 2 plus next LCM divide by that, we have b into x into x plus 2 plus c into LCM divided by this. C, that is uh, x by x into x minus 3. Clear through by the LCM, that automatically goes, we have 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 is equivalent to L into x minus 3 into x plus 2 plus b x into x plus 2 plus c x into x minus 3. Here, I'm going to solve this. What I'm going to consider is reducing two of these to zero given they are sharing certain factors. Reduce them to zero, remain with one. Now, how am I going to do that? This, I'm going to equate 
to have this equal to zero, such that x is equal to what? X is equal, I'm going, when x is equal to three, this is zero, that is zero, that goes, remain with that. So, when x is equal to, is equal to three, such that I have two x squared minus nine x plus six is equal to, this is so obvious, three minus So got college Mwiri. Oh. So got college Mwiri. Nine times two, eighteen. Minus nine times three, twenty-seven. Plus six. Is equal to this is five times three fifteen fifteen b eighteen minus twenty seven that is negative nine plus six negative three negative three is equal to fifteen b fifteen b b is equal to negative three out of fifteen so from there we proceed b our b is zero equal to negative one out of five. <clears throat> Thereafter, I'm looking to find what? I've gotten b as this. I'm looking to find what? The values for a and c. Now, I need to eliminate b. I'm looking for what? For a. What do I need to eliminate b and c? What do they share? They share x. When x is equal to zero. When x is equal to zero. From there, it is going to be two into zero squared minus nine into zero plus six is, it, is equal to mm -hmm. that zero minus three eh? into zero minus three into zero plus two. <clears throat> this one is zero, zero plus zero plus zero. Here, zero, zero, that is six, is equal to negative three times two, that is negative six, A. So A is equal to six out of negative six, A is equal to negative one. We proceed, we have gotten the values for A and B, we are looking for the values of C. What are we going to eliminate? We are looking at eliminating this, because they are sharing this x, x plus two. So when x, when x, is equal to negative two. Substitute once again, two into brackets negative two squared minus nine into brackets negative two plus six is equal to, come here, A, zero. So that is zero. We come from B, B also zero plus zero. Then plus our C, plus C, we, we have C into negative two into brackets negative two minus what? Minus three. Move on. This is four. Eight. Eight minus. This is negative. That is neg negative. 18 times negative one. That's a plus 18. Then that is plus six. Is equal to negative five. Negative two. That is 10. 10 C. That is 10 C. The sum of this. Eight plus 18 plus six. That 24. 24 plus 8, 32. 32 is equal to 10C. 10C. When I divide through, C is going to equal to 32 out of 10. So by 2, 16. By 2, 5. C is equal to 16 out of 5. Next thing. They have asked us to express it in the form what, of our partial fractions. What are we having here? So there are for this, now we come back to our what? To our equivalent. 2x squared minus 9x plus, plus 6 out of x into x squared minus x minus 6 
in form of the partial fractions is equivalent to, we begin with our A. A was negative one, negative one out of X, B, B is 16 out of five, that's 16 out of five into X plus two. Then plus C, where our C is, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. From here, it is the C that is 16 out of five, so from here, yeah, plus two for the C. Then the other one was minus one out of five into X minus three. Now the next part, hence evaluate the integral of this from what? From four to six. Come and evaluate. What do we have that side? Integral from four to six. This is two x squared minus nine x plus six out of and then members, there is something crucial we shouldn't forget with respect to x. x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to the integral of all of that with respect to x. Integral from 4 to 6 into brackets. Negative 1. Negative 1 out of x plus 16 out of 5 into x plus 3. Then minus, no, x plus 2, x plus 2 minus 1 out of 5 into x minus 3, all that with respect to x. But we understand the integral of all that is a sum of the different integrals. So this is equal to the integral from 4. The integral, let me start from here. That's the integral from 4 to 6 of 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 with respect to x out of x into x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to first of all integral from 4 to 6 negative 1 so that I, I put the negative outside 1 out of x then plus integral from 4 to 6 16 out of 5 into x plus 2 respect to x respect to x Sorry about that. Minus integral from 4 to 6, 1 out of 5 into x minus 3 with respect to x. Oh, look at this. I'm looking at factorizing out the, the constants. What we are looking for will be a little bit clearer. Is equal to 1 out, so that is just that. This was a negative, the negative is outside. Negative integral from 4 to 6, 1 out of x with respect to x. Next, pull out the constants, plus 16 out of 5, integral from 4 to 6. That is 1 out of x plus 2 with respect to x. Next, minus 1 out of 5, the integral from 4 to 6. 1 out of x minus 3 with respect to x. Now, looking at this, I differentiate that, I get one. Differentiate that, get one. Differentiate that, get one. And we understand that from the differentiation of lean of x. When I differentiate lean, it's the derivative out of the original. Derivative original, derivative original, and that is what we're having here. So now this is quite obvious. Given that we're dealing with that, this is going to be equal to, the, the integral of that is going to be that b of x from 4 to 6, that is a negative outside. That with respect to x plus 16 out of 5 integral of that, that is b x plus 2. The square brackets for the limits from 4 to 6 plus the next thing, actually it's a minus, minus. 1 out of 5, 1 out of 5, the square limits for the lean, it's x minus 3, x minus 3 
Room four, six. This is equal to substitute lean six minus lean of four. That's one plus 16 out of five into lean. This is six plus two, eight. Lean of eight minus four plus two, six minus lean of six. Then minus one out of five, six minus three, three into lean of three, four minus three, one minus lean of one. So to save time, we're just going to go with the calculator straight away. Lean of six minus lean of four, looking at lean of six minus the lean of four. Obviously, most of you are considering the, the laws of logarithm very, very but either way, I'm going to finish up with that. This is 0 0.4, 0, 5, 5. I'm looking at four decimal places to increase the sense of accuracy. Next thing, we have plus 16 out of 5 into what's inside. Lean of 8 minus lean of 6. That is 0 0.287, 0 0.2877. Then minus, oh, sorry, there was a negative there and a negative there. Then minus, then of three. So this is one out of five. Because those of logarithm three times one, that is three out of one, that is three, then of five, then of three. So this is equal to negative 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 5, here, 0 0.2877 divided by 5 times the 16 plus 0 0.92064, that's lean of 3, divided by 5, so minus 0 0.2197. Negative 0 0.2. 2197 minus 0 0.4055, then plus 0 0.2. I'll pardon this. Just confirm 0 0.2877 then 16 divided by 5. 0 0.292064. Okay. So 0 0.92064 minus 0 0.4055 minus 0 0.2197. Minus 0 0.2197. This is equal to 0 0.29544. Thus, our answer integral from 4 to 6 of this 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 with respect to x, output x into x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 0.2954. Very simple. That's it.